Uh, second fire of the year. This one is this one's big. I don't know if it's in Montana right now, but there's my house. And the, the wind's blowing north, north and west, so it, it, I don't think it'll come unless the wind switches. If it gets into all that crop, like there's a lot of crop there. But the wind's gone down a little bit, which is nice. We got the Shelby, the Sunburst, the Hutterites, and farmers plus coots fire departments are all there right now i'm gonna go a little closer i just don't want to get in their way oh it looks like they're getting it out good okay they got they pretty much got it out which is good it was Looks like it was going to come right in between my place and Ford's, or depending on the way the, way the wind went, but uh, this one also started on the road. With so, disc. Anyways, that's my farm. And so that's uh, about three quarters of a mile away. If it would have kept going that way it definitely would have got into standing grain but it hit that pasture and man it you can you can see a direct line where it stopped thanks thanks to the cows eating eating the grass okay I did want to mention that where it burnt in there is just that's just stubble, meaning that the crop has already been cut off it, so there isn't that much to burn. It was a thin crop as well. So, I mean, if that would have been the standing ripe crop that is surrounding the whole area, like very little has been combined, we would have been in big trouble. So, And then with that wind, it was a strong wind yesterday. So as I said before, that is just stubble. There was no no crop to burn. It's already been taken off. And uh, this grass here, besides, so the grater really chewed up, chewed up the sod there, but sod sometimes can keep burning, like the roots will burn. Uh, so either started from a vehicle or something thrown out of a vehicle. So, yeah, we are directly south of my place right now. Well, the wind's picking up again, but I'll move it. <laughs> it's either the wind or my dog panting, so you get what you get. That, uh, that, that burnt a lot really fast, and it's uh, surprising because you look down there, there's, I mean, there's not a lot to burn compared to just, just over that fence line. There's a lot of crop. But luckily, like I said, it went that way. It went west a little bit. The wind switched. And so that's the, the landowner's tractor and disc and water truck. This used to be, we farmed this land for years. Uh, like 70 years. It was in our, our, our family rented it from the people that used to live in that old homestead. Uh, you can see there the Treaty of 1908. Oh, am I recording? Yeah. Stop. Okay, this is the site of the fire two weeks ago. And it, uh, the grass is already turning green. That's one thing about uh, burning grass. Uh, it does clean it up and it get, gets new growth growing. And then, so this fall, this will be all nice and green. And same as that, well, that other was in crop. So that's a little different case. Anyways, 
one thing a lot of people don't know. It does burn up all the micronutrients as well, though. In grass, that's not a problem. <laughs> 